Hi everybody. I'm gonna try something different. I'm wearing my AirPods to see if maybe um, you guys would be able to hear me a little bit better than yesterday's video. But I thought we could open up my Michelangelo Funko. This one came out this past summer and I accidentally bought two of these so I thought we could open up this one since the other one came with came with all with his brothers so I don't want to like take that set I also do have slash and pre-mutated slash too but I only have one of those so I don't know if I'll open that because right now it's easier to store all of my Funkos while they're in boxes compared to opening them so because I only have I have limited space in my room to be able to have these so having them in the box I can stack them easier but since I have an extra one I can open it and maybe I can even take this to work and put it on my desk which I think would be kind of fun but let's see if I can open it one-handed Damaging the box too badly. There we go. There we go. So, for some reason, my video stopped recording. So, I don't know if it was like the setting that I had, but that was kind of kind of annoying. Luckily, I spotted it before I actually took him out. So, Let's see if I can take them out one-handed. I guess this is, oop, I'm doing it. I guess this is why people have tripods, huh? Let's put him right there. And then we'll move you. Look how cute he is. God, I love the coloring on him. Look at his little M on his, on his belt. Pop your, pop that off your head. And we're just going to pull you out. Oh, he's a little, is it a smudge? Huh, he has a little discoloration on his snout right there, if you can see it. You can kind of see some of the white got on his mouth right there. And I think a little scratched right there. But overall, like... His coloring, along with like the orange of his mask. Oh, look at his shell. There's like cuts and stuff all over it. That's a neat detail. I like that. There's some texture to his belt too. That's kind of cool. I really like that. And his little toes and his feet. And they got the side pieces here. Trying to make him look all mean when he's just a little party dude. They could still probably kick your butt, but you know. Gotta kick shell whenever. Is that another? Yep, that's another spot. But that's okay. Gives him character. Makes him unique. Overall, he looks pretty good. Decent weight. Feels about the same weight as any other Funko that isn't like massive or big. He looks pretty good. I think I think I might take him take him to work and put him on my desk cuz I think he he would go well with my other Funko that I have of Mikey. That Funko is technically the Mutant and Mayhem Michelangelo cuz I had an extra one of those. Oh, interesting. Is he supposed to have weight here? No. No, he's not supposed to have white here. But you can see why I thought he would. Because, like, it looks like he's supposed to. I wonder... Let's see. Because it looks like... Sorry, I was just looking at where I was keeping, keeping these. Okay, so it looks like... Donnie is supposed to have both. Leo is supposed to have the other side. 
Raph is supposed to have a full mouth and Slash is doing his own thing. So I think they use the same mold for these three, at least the mouth wise. I'd have to, I would have to open or really look at Raph to see if, see if his mouth is, if it's just like, like this and then just like painted over right here without them like changing the mold. I guess maybe, give me a second, let me grab, let me grab Slash. So you can definitely see that Slash and Premutated Slash, definitely a different, different mold. Interesting that his S is backwards on his belt. I guess I don't know too much about this version of Slash to say whether or not that was, that's probably how his belt was, but again, like, I don't know enough about this slash to say whether or not that's actually true but yeah his mold is completely different maybe I could let me see if I can grab grab Raph without knocking everything over Looking at Raph, he is a completely different mold than the other three. Because you can see that, like, right there, his mouth continues all the way along. Rather than, like, having his beak covering that part like it does with Mikey. But, that's interesting that they would have a completely different... They would use probably the same model for Leo and Donnie, but, and Mikey, but for Raph, they used a different model. That's kind of cool. And you can kind of see that he has like a space for his size on his belt. And that's really neat. Someday, someday I'll open him. But for right now, he's got to stay in his box. Easier to store. But, you know. You know, I really love Funkos. They're so cute. And they're kind of a fun little collectible. I kind of wish, well, I can't say when we were younger because like, they were around when I was in high school, but I don't know, they're kind of fun. They do take up a lot of space though, a lot of space, which is unfortunate, but that's why I keep them in the box to stack them. But anyways, he looks pretty good. He has a few imperfections, but you know, that, that kind of makes Mikey unique and I really like him. So I'll probably bring him to work on Monday and put him on my desk. You guys should let me know down in the comments below, like if you guys collect Funkos or if you guys collect anything, like how you like to store them and why you kind of enjoy enjoy collecting the things that you do. I just like collecting the things that I do because they, well, they bring me joy and I like it. So I'll see you guys later and have a wonderful day.